Everyone loves to break out of bounds in video games, whether it just be through console commands like no clipping, or using some kind of glitch to get out of your favorite multiplayer maps, or just breaking the game entirely to see what's under the hood in the levels you grew up with. It's been a fascinating prospect for many over the years to see what lies just beyond what the player is intended to see, whether it's just to get a peek at the tricks that might be at play within the game and the engine, or to see if there were any secrets or bits of cut content left behind for curious players to discover. Out of Bounds discoveries are some of the most interesting in games because a lot of the times, unlike standard easter eggs, they were never meant to be found, and are only seen years after the release of the game. And sometimes, well, maybe they're a part of an even greater secret. Today, we're going to be covering a lot of these discoveries in an iceberg I made, based on another one created on iceberg charts by MetaRuner, as well as inspired by a few videos I saw on this topic by Oddheader and T5G. There are a ton of interesting entries on here, so let's just get into it. As we dive into the Out of Bounds Discoveries Iceberg Explained. But before that, let me quickly shout out today's sponsor, Displate. The perfect gift for someone else or for yourself, because Displates are awesome and unique metal posters, which you can easily mount on your wall with no tools, just magnets. And these look great. I myself picked up this sick Bioshock one, if you know you know. Also got a classic Halo CE poster for that nostalgic feel, and even a sick Hotline Miami one. The process for installing these could not be more simple. All you gotta do is use the provided cleaning wipes on the wall surface, wait about 10 minutes, then once it's dry, stick on the protective leaf, then place the magnet on top of that and stick it to the leaf hard for about 5 seconds, and boom, you're done. Now you just mount the display and you're ready to go. Just remember the big ones usually need two magnets and the medium sized ones need only one. Check out my profile for some really cool ones in my personal collection which you might like, or take a look at many of the official brands available. There's a lot of cool ones to choose from, and not only do displates just look better in my opinion compared to canvas paintings or standard posters, but they're also cheaper using my link in the description. Or use my discount code SOURCEBREW to get 22% off for one or two displates, or even 33% off if you get three, only available until January 28th. Thanks once again to Display. now back to the video. Giant Teddy Bear, Modern Warfare 3 The teddy bears have been an ongoing easter egg in the Call of Duty series ever since its inception basically, going all the way back to Call of Duty Finest Hour and the Ghost Room which I discussed in the Creepy Easter Eggs Iceberg, and is easily the weirdest COD easter egg of all time. But back on track here, in the original Modern Warfare 3 released in 2011, aka the good one, over time players found quite a few hidden teddy bears across the various multiplayer maps, including some even giant teddy bears that were very well hidden, like this one located on the map Lockdown, which is only accessible by flying a recon drone using the support package into this specific window, which you can clip through to see this bear dual wielding two golden deagles. There's another giant one located inside of the kitchen of Burger Town in the map Arcaden, and another one which is only visible outside of the map if you manage to glitch outside the boundaries of Resistance, where you can find another giant bear with the two gold deagles inside of a building. Makes you wonder if there are any more of these in the other maps which still haven't been discovered yet. Lord of the Pies, Dragon Age Inquisition if you manage to glitch inside of a certain room in Dragon Age Inquisition, usually by running into Solus's room after entering the Skyhold, it can sometimes cause the room to not completely load in, which will make you fall right through the floor and come across this strange thing, seemingly a giant pie with a drawn on face and a top hat, nicknamed the Lord of the Pies, which is a term coined by the developer who put it there, named Graham Kelly, who actually commented on videos that showed off this strange easter egg, claiming that there were more more strange objects like it hidden behind various barriers and load screens throughout the game. Dev Room Fallout 76 so dev rooms are a pretty common thing in video games, so I wasn't planning to include very many on this list, but this one is just so infamous and hilarious that I had to, not because of anything actually hidden inside of it, but because of the history behind it. 
It basically works like a standard dev room with all the weapons and items and whatnot for dev testing, but it's mostly known because of the fiasco that was Fallout 76's launch, and the fact that this is an online game with microtransactions and PvP, and couple that with all the other fails that happened when this game launched, and yeah, people discovering this dev room did not bode well for the game and any semblance of balance or anything. Also, people who did find it, even if by accident, were getting banned. Whoops. Like, why did they even leave this in public servers to begin with? Either way, the path to getting there is patched out, but it's still another interesting piece of lore in the storied history of 76's abysmal launch. White Gold Tower, Skyrim the White Gold Tower, also called the Imperial City Palace, is a structure located in the Imperial City of Cyrodiil, visible most notably in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. However, in Skyrim you can get out of the map by parkouring on top of some buildings in Riften using the Do Not Delete chest and the Whirlwind Sprint Shout, and eventually you'll get over a canal wall, which will take you outside of the map. Then you can head southwest through the geometry and sort of shimmy your way up the mountains, the classic Skyrim way, and after a long trip trek at the edge of the range, you'll be able to see the tower in the distance. It's a very low poly LOD model, but it is curious that it was even included in the first place. Third Dimension Among Us so this was explored in the YouTube series Boundary Break, which as suggested deals with breaking out of the boundaries of various games and seeing the tricks and inner workings behind making our favorite games work. Interestingly, Among Us is actually built on a 3D engine, and when you break out of boundaries in the game, you're met with a pretty trippy experience because all of the assets are in 2D, but the game itself runs in 3D with multiple layers. All the parts of the ship on the different maps, as well as space itself for when players are ejected are all just different layers on top of one another. This is also the same with the dropship waiting room area, the main menu, and even the character customization menu. Stockholm, Fallout 3 this is one of the coolest out of bounds secrets in Fallout 3, but you'll soon find out there's actually quite a few in this game and on this list. But even if you've played this game extensively, I'm guessing you've never met the NPC Stockholm. And that's because he cannot be talked to through normal means, because he is actually the sniper and lookout who stands above the town of Megaton keeping watch. Now you can either just no clip up there on PC, or if you're on console or want to do it without cheating, you have to basically parkour your way up there, but if you do manage to do it, you can actually talk to Stockholm, who will acknowledge the fact that you've broken out of the map. The more time I spend talking to you, the less I'm spending watching for raiders. How the hell did you get up here anyway? I suck at making maps. Doom 64. A pretty simple yet funny discovery which can be found in Doom 64, in this certain elevator because of a missing texture, which I guess was never added in, and it's made obvious by the message on this green texture in its place, which reads, I suck at making maps, and its inclusion was likely there to remind the developers to actually add in the appropriate textures to places that were missing them. Unfortunately, it looks like this one got overlooked. Farlands Minecraft the Farlands are a very strange phenomenon in Minecraft, an area so far from spawn that likely you would never encounter it, said to spawn over 12 million blocks away from your initial starting zone. They are a terrain generation bug which would only occur due to the noise generators malfunctioning due to the sheer size of the world, and would start creating strange shapes and walls filled with mysterious holes and caves. However, this has since been patched out of the game, so to experience this, you'll have to play an older version and travel over 12 million blocks from spawn. Good luck with that. Past the Flagpole Super Mario Bros. One of the earliest examples of going out of bounds in video games, dating back to the original Super Mario Bros. You can simply use a platform to jump over the flagpole in 3-3, which lets you roam an infinite out of bounds area, or you can do a sweatier method in 1-1, where you glitch a turtle through the ground and then jump at just the right moment, which will send you over the flag, which results in the same kind of thing. Also, there's the World 1-2 skip, which allows you, after breaking through the map, to skip to World 5, but there are a ton of these in the Mario games, and a bunch of different world skips, so we'll just move on. Kug, Super Mario Sunshine If you manage to glitch yourself underneath the map of Pinna Park in Super Mario Sunshine next to this carnival ride looking thing, then you'll be greeted with nothing out of the ordinary actually. But if you do angle your camera to just the right spot, 
then you will see a question mark underneath the surface, which if you peer at it again from a lower angle, it reveals itself to actually be the only Goomba in the game, which when found in the files was named Kug, possibly a cut enemy from the game. However, it's only a crudely drawn 2D model, interestingly enough. Missing Material, Borderlands 2. This is another missing texture situation. Pretty simple stuff, but outside of the map in Borderlands 2, YouTube user the Hitman 1398 discovered an interesting blinking texture that reads "missing material," an obnoxiously bright message, which again was probably being used to signify mappers to add in a texture here, which they forgot to do. Whoops. Giant squid splashdown. Again, a pretty straightforward one, but in the Rainbow Studios racing title, Splashdown, if you travel too far outside of the race, you will be met with a giant squid tentacle and be thrown back into the arena, a recurring easter egg in these games, but usually not with a squid. That's just this one, but I have to ask, why are there so many of these giant squid easter eggs in other games? And if you don't believe me, go check out my creepy easter eggs iceberg after this one, there's a bunch. Verrucked, MG42, World at War, and Black Ops 3. This is a creepy out of bounds easter egg in the map Verrucked, which again we briefly mentioned in the creepy video game easter eggs iceberg, but here it's something only found through no clipping under the map, under the fountain specifically, which normally isn't accessible, to which you will find a mountable MG42, like those featured in the campaign, which can actually strangely enough be used. The map was recreated in Black Ops 3 pretty faithfully, including the fountain in the middle, and under it there is a similar easter egg, although quite a bit creepier this time around, as we can see the machine gun mounted by a pair of detached arms, on top of some sort of stone or concrete slab, which itself is sitting on a mound of dirt surrounded by bones, all below the map and out of sight. Weird. White statue, dust in Elysian tail. This strange out of bounds discovery can be observed in chapter 4 at a certain place on the map, which if you manage to clip through the environment and then use the dash to go towards the right, you may be able to catch a glimpse of whatever this statue is. Some sort of white translucent material with a smiley face, lily pads on its chest, a hand holding a shield and another with a staff, and then of course tree leaves for a hat or hair. What this is supposed to be is unclear, probably though just a developer calling card. Boat People, Spider-Man. In Spider-Man PS4, players who traveled into the ocean, still close to the docks and technically inside the map, noticed something peculiar about the NPCs inside of the nearby boats. Uh, yeah, very strange poly models. And this isn't even very far from shore, so why are they like this? I'm not really sure. Probably an LOD model meant to be seen from much further away that sometimes spawns close due to a bug or misplacement is my best guess. Underwater Sea Life, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 Using Thug Pro, a total conversion mod for Tony Hawk Underground Pro, which later added in levels from other games including Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, Oddheader was able to find an interesting detail below the water surface in this level, right underneath the pirate ship using the set restart command which allowed him to go underneath the water and see a bunch of textured and fully animated fish which are normally not able to be seen. Narrator, Fallout New Vegas If you've played Fallout New Vegas all the way through, which if you haven't, bruh, get on that now, but if you have, you know at the end of the game the narrator comments on your various choices throughout the game, as well as the many people you met on your journey, and your ending slides are all based on individual choices made by the player, making everyone's ending for the most part unique no matter which faction you sided with at the ending. But what's really interesting is what's going on under the hood in this scene, as players found out that when these slides are being read off, if you noclip yourself past them, you will find an NPC called Ron the Narrator, named after Ron Perlman, voicing over the entire thing, and for whatever reason wearing Legion armor and an eye patch. He even imitates the voices of the various characters you encounter in the game. And this also works the same way for the DLCs as well. Really an interesting way to do this, I've gotta say. But uh, welcome to the creation engine, I guess. There'll be more of this to come. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, 
and many surrounding communities. The Mojave Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. Developer Girlfriend, Brutal Legend, and Psychonauts. Wholesome one here. Hopefully uh, they're still together or this might be a little awkward, but basically a developer that worked on both Brutal Legend and Psychonauts was so proud of his girlfriend that he had to put her in as an easter egg in both games. The picture can be found at the top of the map in Brutal Legend behind this rock, and in Psychonauts it can be found on a building on Skyscraper Island. MC Hammer reference, Call of Duty Ghosts. On the Call of Duty Ghosts map for 8, you can find a teddy bear like in almost every other Call of Duty map ever made, but also just to the right of him outside of the map, you can find a stop sign, a hammer, and a clock, or stop hammer time, a reference to American rapper MC Hammer. Bug This, Bioshock. This one has a bit of an interesting story to it, as it came to public attention mostly from someone on 4chan claiming to be a developer on the game, saying some interesting stuff about the devs, and giving proof in the form of a secret nobody had found yet, likely due to it being so obscure. Basically in Hephaestus, right before you meet Andrew Ryan, if you use the incinerate plasmid and get yourself down to 1 HP, then use the plasmid again on the inside of Ryan's office in this exact spot and then walk into it and die, then you'll wake up outside of the map in a Vita chamber with this message. Bug this. If you can read this, Paul Hellquist did not do his job. Love, Klein. Except, this had actually been found at least a year earlier, as noted by Paul Hellquist himself on Twitter. Still though, nonetheless, an interesting discovery in one of my favorite games of all time. Wandering is a Terrible Sin, Bendy and the Ink Machine. So, Bendy and the Ink Machine is a quite popular indie horror series released in chapters which all have their own easter eggs, including one for those who manage to break out of the map, whether by no clipping or through some other means. This cardboard cutout of Bendy is what you'll find in certain spots in the various chapters, with a sign reading, Wandering is a Terrible Sin. Metroidvania Test, Stay Calm, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So a very strange discovery was made in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order on the third planet of the game beneath the map and out of bounds where you can find these green models. Not too out of the ordinary I guess, but the text is definitely interesting. It says Metroidvania tests stay calm. Obviously in reference to this subgenre of games inspired by elements taken from the Metroid and Castlevania series, games featuring exploration and progression in a non-linear environment. To Altair's Assassin's Creed. Towards the end of Memory Block 6 in the original Assassin's Creed, there was found to be a very strange bug if the player reared their horse near this edge of the map by some guards. Sometimes you would end up falling through the geometry and for the most part you just respawn normally, but on occasion you would respawn with two Altair's, the protagonist of the game, controlling both at the same time as one of them just mimics your movements, but also strangely enough you can assassinate the other Altair which will cause the game to think that you died. Very strange discovery for sure, which some believe may have had something to do with a cut co-op feature, although this is just speculation. No clip room. Trover saves the universe. In Trover Saves the Universe, a 2019 platforming action title created by Rick and Morty co-creator Justin Roiland and Squanch Games, there is an interesting easter egg located behind a room you can't normally enter which is referenced by one of the characters in game, but by the use of a noclip program you can actually enter the room only to find a man waiting for you, voiced by Roiland himself like basically every other character who acknowledges the fact that you broke out of bounds. One of those buildings in a video game that's got a bunch of doors you can't, you'll can't, you never be able to open. Classic easter egg, how'd you get here? <laughs> to use a noclip program? Stone Statues, Dying Light Found in the first Dying Light, there is a rather strange but cool easter egg involving a weapon, a sword called EXP Caliber, in reference to the mythical sword of King Arthur, stuck inside the corpse of a zombie on this rock. You can try to pull out the sword, but it doesn't work unless you sit there pulling on it for about 3 minutes. However, if you manage to pull out the sword, you do get a pretty OP weapon out of it, but that's not what we're talking about with this entry. Rather, it's what's under the rock that is more fascinating, I think, because sometimes if you manage to drown in 
in the area, you will fall under the map and see some floating cars above you, and if you quickly grapple on top of them before you fall to your death, then you'll come across some peculiar statues. Likely of some unused character models in the game, including one of a zombie type, and another of a man holding a bucket, strangely enough. Giant Teddy Bear, Fallout 3. Basically the same thing as in Modern Warfare 3, right? But this time it's a little more interesting, I think, because you can actually loot this teddy bear. As in, like, pick him up as an item, even though he's outside of the map. He can be found in the top left corner of the map at this marked location, Satcom Array NN03D. First you have to go in and deal with all the raiders, and then make your way to this makeshift drug lab. And just behind this wooden barricade is the giant bear. Just an upsized version of the regular teddy bear, which is normally inaccessible, although you can just no clip in and take it, or you can throw some nades and get the bear to fall closer to you, and then by using an exploit, you can kind of clip your camera inside in third person and take it, but if you do drop the bear after it's in your inventory and then pick it up again, it'll become small, so if you want to use this as a decoration in your house or something, make sure you drop it the first time where you want him to sit permanently. Motorized Shark Fin, Mad Max Next to a very strange and seemingly random structure found in some shallow water in the 2015 Mad Max game, players found that if you use the photo mode to go beneath the water's surface, you'll find a motorized shark fin for some reason. It was also later found that if you get on top of a nearby ladder and watch the structure with binoculars, after a certain amount of time the shark fin will actually activate and circle the area. Hole in the Wall Family Guy Back to the Multiverse this is a possibly cut reference to the Kool-Aid Man and his many appearances in the Family Guy TV show where he breaks through walls to say his signature catchphrase, which was a part of his marketing campaign in the 90s. Or maybe it's not that at all and it's just a random hole in the wall which is normally inaccessible. It is found in the first level of the game and can only be found by going out of bounds and onto this street which normally you can't get to. Go to the back of this pizza parlor and there it is. And nothing else is inside the store, so we can really only speculate as to what's going on here. Banana Room. Time Splitter's Future Perfect. There is a part of the level in Time Splitter's Future Perfect called Breaking and Entering where you use mounted turrets to shoot at some guys while viewing from a camera, which goes into this room which cannot be accessed in any other way in the game, at least through normal means. If you do manage to noclip yourself in, however, you are met with a strange sight. Yeah, multiple bananas clipping inside the walls and under a desk for whatever reason. Make of that what you will, I guess. <laughs> Texture Temple, Tomb Raider The Last Revelation in Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation, after a certain level transition, you can actually turn around and make your way back to where you came from, parkouring past a few rocks, which is only possible after cheating, using either some sort of noclip mod or a position editor, to get yourself on one of the far rocks, but after making your way, you'll come across this strange building made of a weird texture, which as it turns out is just the default missing texture, but I gotta say it's a weird texture for that purpose, and gives this temple a very strange and cryptic feel to it, to say the least. Neversoft Logo, Call of Duty Ghosts On the Nemesis DLC map, Showtime, which is some sort of concert in the desert, if you look outside the map with the free look spectating camera, you will find an interesting sculpture of an impaled eyeball, which is a reference to the studio Neversoft, who previously worked on Call of Duty titles and would eventually merge with Infinity Ward, leaving this as a monument to the company, which is pretty cool. Sander Cohen Dance, Bioshock. In the Fort Frolic level, possibly the best part of the entire game, you will come across a location called Eve Garden, and in there you will find the ghost of a prostitute that was killed by Andrew Ryan. If you follow her into the room, you will find her corpse, but just behind the door before it opens, you can see some shadows dancing, and if you manage to clip yourself inside the room before the door actually opens on its own, you'll see quite a strange sight. Two models of Sander Cohen dancing. Uh, yeah. Dark Figure, Life is Strange. 
If you manage to clip out of Chloe's house in episode 4 and get onto the street level through some glitches, then you'll notice your own player model is missing its texture. But even creepier is another model without a texture, a dark figure sitting in the window of a nearby house. Who or what this is supposed to be or why they're here is unknown. Skywell 27 Worm, Borderlands 3 so for some reason when a player was loading into the area known as Skywell 27 in Borderlands 3, he was met with instead of a standard loading screen, this weird creature. Maybe some kind of worm or something, as we can see that whatever it is, it's moving. Ew, yeah. And as far as I know, we still have no clue what this thing is supposed to be, or why it appeared right before this area. Very strange. Plushies, Valoran. Most of the Valorant maps have a bunch of these little plushy characters hidden throughout the game, usually outside of the map, only to be found by players using Noclip and by searching every nook and cranny on these maps, including a party of plushies and this worm guy sitting together inside of a house way outside of this map. Arala, Horizon Forbidden West Way outside the boundaries of the playable areas of the map, keen-eyed players noticed a word written way out in the background, only visible at night and from a certain altitude. Arala. Not sure exactly what this is supposed to mean. I don't think it's the name of a character in the game or anything. I mean, there is a minor character named Arana, but not Arala, so it's still a mystery to me. If anyone knows what this might mean, leave it down below. Missing Texture Character, Bioshock Infinite. A very strange discovery was made on the series Boundary Break, which shout out to the series because it came in handy when looking into a bunch of these weird out of bounds discoveries, but basically it was found that in the Good Time Club of Bioshock Infinite past this wall is a strange scene where it seems a first person sequence was meant to take place, thanks to Booker's arms being seen as well as a person on some sort of chair, with only their head being visible and the rest of their body missing textures. Makes you wonder what this scene was really supposed to be of. Dev Room, EverQuest. A cool little dev room can be found in EverQuest by either glitching yourself through a wall or by teleporting yourself to the location in question, to which you will find nothing but a blank room surrounded by a texture of this cool cat. Yep, that's that's it. Who can say where the road goes? Mordhau. If you manage to break out of the map Contraband in the medieval multiplayer fighting game Mordhau using some sort of building exploit, not only will you be able to end up on people's loadout changing menus, which can be pretty funny, but also if you run around and explore, you might find this sign, who can say where the road goes, and if you walk into it, it teleports you back to the map in the air so you can fall to your death. Looks like the devs might have predicted people would try to break out of the map. Out of Bounds Shortcut, Insurgency. As pointed out in a deleted reddit post and on a video by T5G, there is an insurgency sandstorm map with the classic return to battlefield in a certain amount of time or die screen, to prevent people from getting out of the map. The thing is, this alleyway that this message pops up on is actually like in the middle of the map so it seems like it should be a part of it, and it actually secretly is as a shortcut, because if you run straight through it you can actually get through without dying, as you'll be able to get out in 9.9 .9 seconds, when the death counter is only 10 seconds. Pretty cool detail actually. Serious Sam Helmet, The Talos Principle there are a few Serious Sam easter eggs in the Talos Principle, one of them being the Serious Sam pilot helmet which can be found after parkouring outside the map, to which you'll find the helmet buried in the sand nearby. Pretty cool yet simple easter egg. Badger Song, Portal Prelude in the 2008 mod expansion of Portal titled Portal Prelude, there is a really interesting easter egg located outside the map, and if you manage to get a portal there, you will find this. A bunch of dancing badgers in reference to an old meme song from the early 2000s called The Badger Song. Creepy Room, Cyberpunk 2077. 
There is a very creepy and otherwise inaccessible room in Haywood near Delamain HQ in Cyberpunk 2077, which you can only get into using mods. This is in room 301, and because it is so detailed with writings on the wall as well as blood and whatnot, this was likely a part of a cut easter egg or possibly even a full on quest which ended up being scrapped. Makes you wonder though why they didn't at least just leave it in as an easter egg to be found and why they felt the need to hide it behind this locked door. Nephilim Payday 2 The Payday 2 Nephilim lore goes deep. This isn't some cryptid easter egg which has no connections to the story, it's surprisingly an integral part of it. Yeah, if you didn't know, the Payday 2 story gets absolutely wild, taking on some crazy supernatural elements. I recommend this video by Noli if you want to deep dive into the whole story because it's quite a ride, but honestly it reminds me of the COD Zombies story, it just gets so off the wall ridiculous that it's kind of funny. And yes, Nephilim, these giant creatures from the bible are involved. You can find paintings of them in the heist Shacklethorn auction but also if you walk on these steps outside the map, you will see a large dark figure in the background, most likely a Nephilim as seen in the paintings. Anyway, I won't spoil too much of the story, but just know that yes, this is canon, and it will make much more sense if you complete the secret at the White House, which is a long and tedious process, but definitely worth it if you want to see the true ending of Payday 2. Gaben Room, Half-Life Yes, in the original Half-Life released in 1998, if you no-clip in the third chapter, Unforeseen Consequences, after you go down an elevator, then you can find this very weird room which has the head of Valve President Gabe Newell, aka Gaben, plastered everywhere as the only texture for the room. Predator, Modern Warfare 2019 a small but cool nod to the famous horror movie franchise Predator can be found on the multiplayer map Hill in Modern Warfare 2019. In this tree, as you will find a Predator using their cloaking device or camouflage or whatever just like in the movies. Decapitated Head, Resident Evil 2 this is one of the most unsettling out of bounds discoveries on this list for sure, as you can probably guess by that title. In Resident Evil 2, when you encounter the first liquor enemy in the game, you will probably be too busy dealing with this gross thing to even notice that in the top right corner, an object barely visible and out of view is just off camera. But some people did take notice, and if you force the aspect ratio to show more of the screen, or by just moving the camera, you will find a decapitated head, which was what was dripping blood in the scene, and was actually originally meant to fall to the ground during this sequence, but ended up being cut for being just a little too graphic, even for Resident Evil, at least at the time. Loch Ness Monster, Watch Dogs this is an unfinished and later cancelled easter egg of the mythological creature, the Loch Ness Monster, which would have been a really cool addition to the game. Adding some GTA myth type elements to your open worlds are always welcome in my eyes, but sadly this was never added into the final release and was only found in an older development build of the game. And it's definitely not the finished product, it's just a blank model moving underneath the water. Sad to see that this was never put into the game, but that's alright because it was eventually added into GTA 5. Check out my GTA Myths Iceberg if you haven't seen it yet to see more of the crazier stuff featured in Rockstar's games. Wet Floor Sign, Compound A user found in the VR shooter game Compound that if you use the advanced settings on the VR program OVR Toolkit downloaded through Steam then you could basically fly to the top of the map right from spawn and if you go over to this tall skyscraper You'll find something weird on the roof, a dancing wet floor sign with a face, which was covered by Oddheader in one of his Out of Bounds Discovery videos, and in the comments section the developer clarified that the easter egg was put in the game because of its first superfan, writing, quote, As for the backstory of the easter egg, the user called DNC, who you mention as the second commenter in the video, was my first superfan, and single-handedly found dozens of bugs, so I agreed to add a couple of easter eggs of his choice into the game. The wet floor sign was one of them. There is actually another one equally well hidden. By the way, you don't need cheats to get to either one of the easter eggs. There are proper super sneaky in-game ways to get there. Girlfriend, Soma. 
This is a wild one. So, Soma is a 2015 sci-fi horror game from the creators of Amnesia, and interestingly, the creepiest thing in the game isn't the monsters or anything in the normal gameplay in my opinion, but rather in this scene, where the character's girlfriend stares out a window and you can't normally get a good look at her face. But if you use the debug mode and manipulate the camera to see what she's hiding, um, yeah. Her face is completely infested with pulsating maggots. I'm sure you didn't need to see that, but I didn't either, so you're welcome, I guess. Billboard. California Speed. In the racing title, California Speed, some players noticed a very weird billboard way out in the desert outside the playable zone on the track Mojave Desert. According to the devs, it's just a placeholder texture that they forgot to replace with something else. It's still pretty hard to make out in-game, and maybe they thought people just wouldn't look too deep into it, but it reads, quote, Sometimes God takes mommies and puppies away. And sometimes, just sometimes, I do. But if you think this is the craziest message someone put in a game thinking no one would notice, just you wait. Train Guy. Fallout 3. So this is a really weird quirk in how Fallout 3 works that will make you never see trains the same way again, be warned. So basically this metro train is actually just a guy wearing the train as a hat basically that walks around. I should have known. Gotta love the creation engine, am I right? Out of Bounds Code. Spongebob Truther Square. In the 2009 Spongebob video game Truth or Square, at first there is a seemingly cryptic set of numbers seen outside of Spongebob's house which is only accessible using a free camera tool, usually in some kind of emulator which reveals a code of numbers and letters which puzzled players who found it. However, the explanation is pretty simple. It's a hidden code used for level select in the game, and this is a pretty cool way of hiding it, I gotta say. So sadly it doesn't tie into some creepy Spongebob ARG as much as I would have liked it to. Ronald Reagan and Gorbachev, GTA Vice City. So here's one I had no idea about until researching for this video, even though I'm a huge GTA fan, and especially a big Vice City fan, but that's because this easter egg is hidden out of bounds in a seemingly random ammunition, behind a wall which can only be seen by standing on a counter and standing in just the right spot, leaning right up against it, and using the RPG to clip through the wall which will allow you to see an image of Ronald Reagan holding a gun, and Mikhail Gorbachev, the leader of the Soviet Union in the 80s, with multiple bullet holes and a target over his head. Not really sure why this is here, I mean, Vice City does take place in 1986 during the end of the Cold War, but why is it hidden in this ammunition behind a wall here? Well your guess is as good as mine. No prize for you, Rocket Man. Quake 2 The Reckoning. Found in the Quake 2 mission pack entitled The Reckoning, released in 1998, you can find a cool little easter egg in this spot here by rocket jumping out of the map, which if you do so, you'll find this pickup. And when you walk over it, you're met with this message. No prize for you, Rocket Man. RIP. <laughs> Ghost Larry, Little Big Planet. In one of the Pop It puzzle levels, if you manage to glitch in the creative tools in Little Big Planet 3, you can very tediously climb very far outside of the map where you were never intended to reach and find the ghost of a character called Larry Da Vinci, who is floating above a cloud with a halo above his head, again inferring that he is dead. That's strange on its own, but it's also believed that this was a piece of cut content, and this screen showing the dead Larry would also trigger if you somehow managed to kill him in the game, which is why once you reach this cloud using the exploit, the camera lingers and you can't actually leave the area. Jabba's Palace Robot, Star Wars Battlefront this bizarre discovery was found outside of the map Jabba's Palace in the original 2004 Star Wars Battlefront near one of the command posts, just barely inside the wall, where you can find this strange robot that appears nowhere else in the game to my knowledge, doing this weird pose. What's most interesting though is that it is likely of the droid CZ-4, featured in The Return of the Jedi, who does a similar pose in almost the exact location of Jabba's Palace. Likely this was going to be part of the background, but got scrapped at some point in development, and they just decided to hide it just outside of sight inside the walls. The pose and design itself isn't exactly the same, but it's similar enough to where I think this is what this is supposed to be of.
Green Man, Resident Evil 4. This bizarre easter egg that is very hard to spot wasn't found until years after the game launched. The first known discovery was by a YouTube user named SR212787 who uploaded a video on the green man, or woman, or person I guess, on January 4th, 2017. Yeah, over 10 years after the game first released. And after the helicopter crashes in Chapter 5-4, and you look out way in the distance out of the bounds using the scope attachment on the rifle, you can make out this person with a green jacket way out there, but it's very hard to see. But if you do utilize the free cam, you can get a better look at them, but even so, we still don't know who this is. Maybe it's a developer or someone related to one of the devs, but to this day, the identity of this person and why they're hidden so far out of bounds in this game remains a mystery. I know Lottery Large, Order and Chaos Online. In Order and Chaos Online, a fantasy MMORPG from the 2010s, there is a really strange encounter outside of the map in the Whispering Islands region. If you swim pretty far out into the ocean, you'll eventually come across this random island. And on it, you'll find Santa Claus, or someone dressed like him anyway. A jacked Santa, mind you, with text above his head reading, I know Lottery Large. What this means, uh, yeah, I don't think anyone knows, including the devs. No Clip Village, Witcher 3. Because of Witcher 3 being a massive open world title with tons of NPCs and great graphics, there are a few tricks that have been employed to retain high FPS for a smooth gaming experience, and as it turns out, NPCs don't load completely or correctly when the player isn't near them. As can be seen if you use a free cam to enter a village without actually going in as Geralt, to which you will be welcomed by these abominations. Toy Box, Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots. Possibly the craziest discovery on this entire list. If not, it's at the very least among them, and that's wild because we're talking about a Nicktoons kids game called Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots, released in 2007 for the PS2, Wii, DS, and Game Boy Advance. Now, if you look closely at the Mr. Huggles toy box, you will see text that is very hard to make out, but using a free cam tool thanks to emulation, you can zoom in and reveal the terrifying text. It reads, quote, I'll hug you and kill you. You'll never sleep again. I'll kill your parents. Kids game, by the way. Not even a bug will save you from me. Slender the Arrival. This is a really cool fourth wall breaking easter egg that is also kind of terrifying, because if you manage to break out of the map and fall through the ground in Slender the Arrival, then text will display on your screen saying, not even a bug will save you from me, before getting jump scared. Yeah, so not even no clipping out of the map will save you from Slender Man, apparently. Naked Man, Guild Wars. Yeah, so one of the updates in Guild Wars, the MMORPG, removed a fully modeled Naked Man, which was viewable in first person in a certain spot, and the devs disguised the update hilariously enough as removing a graphic bug. Yeah. But later on, they would clarify in an interview that the naked model was actually used as a sort of placeholder to remind the devs of an unfinished part of the game, which is pretty commonplace as we've seen on this list, and yet again they forgot about it despite them picking something you'd think they would not be able to forget about. Liberty Memorial Coliseum, GTA 3 just like the hidden sign that can only be found by traveling out of bounds, which says you weren't supposed to be here, there is another place the devs didn't intend you to go, and that would be the Liberty Memorial Coliseum, which you can get into using various methods. Shout out to the name of their sports team, by the way, and yeah, you can basically fly in, but be careful because this part of the map doesn't have collision and you will just fall straight through the ground. Glitch City, Pokemon Crystal. Like Oddheader suggested in his video, this is basically a real life Pokemon creepypasta come to life. Like, if there wasn't footage, I don't think I would have believed this. But yes, in Pokemon Crystal, if you use an emulator to break out of the map in the house you start in, and then save the game and load back in at a certain spot, you will end up in what is known as Glitch City. A glitchy looking town which in itself is reminiscent of creepypastas, but that's not where it ends, because you can then encounter a ghost girl, who appears as 
as missing no essentially if you enter a fight with her and usually just crashes the game but if you somehow manage to defeat her then you will be teleported inside of a house with a jumble of nonsensical text and a phone ringing in the background before the game crashes itself. Yeah, pretty wild stuff. Veteran Center, Far Cry 5. In the north of the map in Far Cry 5, there is a really weird location, a veteran center that when you get close to it, it causes the player to get knocked out while a mysterious song plays, only for the player to then wake up somewhere else entirely. Although through the use of a glitch using the drowning animation, it allowed players to avoid the trigger for getting knocked out and let them explore the center, which strangely is fully modeled and even has a safe with money inside. But the water glitch was later patched out and you could no longer enter the building. Strange that Ubisoft is doing everything in their power to stop players from exploring this area, especially since they spent the time making it and fully modeling everything. Like is this cut content or what's really going on here? Well, the story gets even weirder as a player on Oddheader's Discord was attempting the water glitch again and ended up drowning only to see this. What this is supposed to be is anyone's guess, and only deepens the Veteran Center mystery even more. The Mind of a Madman, Skyrim Again, this is totally creepypasta fuel right here, but this is actually real. Basically, if you noclip outside the map in a certain spot and walk around for a bit, you will eventually find this ominous door sitting alone on a rock. Getting close to it reveals the name, The Mind of a Madman, which you can actually enter. Going inside, you end up inside of a small house that is sitting on top of a table in a giant dungeon, and another door inside the house leads to another dungeon, with seemingly random floating objects, which some attribute to being a part of some kind of cut content thing, maybe a quest related to the Daedric Prince Shiagorath, the Prince of Madness. GameCube Shrek Extra Large now this is an amazing discovery, found in the 2001 platformer that I had never heard of until now. Shrek Extra Large, released on the GameCube and Xbox, has a very interesting easter egg that can only be accessed by falling outside the map, usually by climbing over some mountains through the use of cheats and then falling into the void, but this doesn't just kill you, instead it spawns you in a strange room, surrounded by electronics, which is actually just a GameCube. Yeah, Shrek is now stuck inside your GameCube and can no longer escape, meaning to get out of here you have to completely reset your console. So hopefully you saved recently. Really cool easter egg though. Torture Victims Unreal Return to Napoli in the Unreal Mission Pack, Return to Napoli, released in 1999, there is a really weird and creepy scene which can be discovered only through the use of the Fly Cheat, which allows you to safely get down this dark pit without dying, only to come across some torture victims, who you can actually talk to, saying things like, no secrets for you here, and why me, or I'm in a lot of pain and I fail to see the humor in any of this pretty creepy, especially for any unsuspecting player that would come across this. Bulletin Board, GM Tower We truly saved the best for last here, in my opinion. Gmod Tower was a Gmod server where you could play random games and watch stuff in theaters with your friends. It was a cool little social hub in Gmod where you could just hang out and such. It would later end up being replaced by a game called Tower Unite, which is its own thing on Steam, but in Gmod Tower back in the day, a player noticed a very strange and cryptic easter egg in one of the theater lobbies. Using an exploit with the potions, he was able to glitch himself outside the bounds of the map, only to find this hidden area with a bulletin board and not much else. But if you press E on it, you're met with this nightmare of a scene.
and then it just abruptly cuts off, with the person who posted it saying that the game crashed, including their Fraps recording software. However, this easter egg and this video is actually a part of an ARG called The Streamer, created by the developers of GM Tower that sadly was later cancelled. And that will do it for today's iceberg. Hope you all enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe if you did, and let me know of any other crazy out of bounds discoveries you know of, but that'll be it for me. I'm Sourcebrew, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.